Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. Well, I guess that makes me your sweet baby brother, 30 and 30 year from now. Yep. We were supposed to talk about uh, Eurovision this morning, and then I realized I didn't have anything funny to say about it, except <sighs> sweet Sweden was robbed okay. uh, by Portugal. It was a like an actual robbery. Oh, perpetrated on the world stage. It yeah, was the, the Swedish song about premature ejaculation is amazing and now, should have won. It was called "I Can't Go On." I don't think they were talking about that nut because I'm he's talking Euro, about Euro. he's talking about that it makes him want to take off all his clothes and that yeah. the person he's singing to is so beautiful that he can't go on and he's got to keep it together. I'm saying but Eurovision. Guys, Eurovision has a vetting process. Uh, to make sure that nut songs don't get through. Griffin, but, I'm sorry. This is not a joke I am making. The Sweden song is about premature ejaculation and okay, but you trying to hold about, back. You guys were talking about that, and it reminded me of a much more important fact. Is that uh, I watched Fifty Shades of Grey last night. <laughs> <laughs> talking Sydney about that. Had, talking about that nut, though. Sydney and I had a good post Eurovision drunk going. And we decided to keep up the fun. To catch the zeitgeist. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, the Ridge, Because two, Fifty Shades uh, Darker just came out on iTunes. But we didn't watch that one. We watched Fifty Shades of One. Hey, everybody. That shit is buck wild. <laughs> yeah. How did we let that happen? Is that where things kind of got away from us? I worry. Do you guys, here's the most prevalent, the most important fact about Fifty Shades. And when I brought it up to Sydney, because it is ludicrous, she said, oh, well, I won't, that, that's from the book. So here's what it is. He has a room called the Playroom, right? Christian Grey. Well, that sounds fun. And it's that's where fun. he keeps Cherry and Flory yeah. and Clocky. <laughs> and harnessy <laughs> and butt pluggy. No, but he, she says, is that where you keep your Xbox? Hey, we play me a cartoon. All right, butt pluggy. <laughs> You're the boss. Is that where you keep your Xbox? And he says, no. But I thought it would be rad if he was like, well, yes, but also sex. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but I don't have a lot of space. I, so. I don't have many of the newest games. <laughs> also, but um, I have Madden he, 11. When he <laughs> goes in there and he says to her, "You're gonna be my sex person. You're gotta. You're my submissive. And you're my sex person." She has to like get on the ground on all fours with like a blindfold or and something. Flor and and Flory and Flory's like, "What's up?" <laughs> and she's all naked. Um, but then. And that's like, and you just wait for me. And then when he comes in, he's got a sandwich. This man, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were there. <laughs> um, it is wearing sex jeans. And what I'm saying to you wait. is that he has <laughs> discreet jeans for <laughs> sex that are ripped. So he's not wearing the sex jeans yeah. at the beginning of the scene. He leaves the room and comes back in. Wearing sex jeans that he does not remove. Oh. He just wears the sex jeans the entire time he is in the 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 playroom mm. with the with butt pluggy and the Xbox and everything. Uh, you just you actually guys, I just saw a Skype notification that you've sent me a link and I think this might be one that I don't wanna <laughs> No, just no, check I'm it gonna out. have to click on it. Yeah, mm. it's just if you get a visual of him, it's just like it looks like okay. Incredible Hulk post transformation with like torn sex jeans. Yeah, he that just this like gentleman wears did all a, the time. A quick diversion to express, and now I'm gonna fall into the gap if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if there's a if you <laughs> he never takes the sex jeans off. He just wears the sex jeans. Is he all a never the time. nude? Apparently he's a never nude is what is, is God that would be about. such a fucking twist if in Shades of Grey he's like, but I'm I just want you to know I want to do all kinds of sex stuff with you. I'm not comfortable being naked though, and I will have to turn the lights off. I just um, want to rub my wormy up against this carpenter cut denim. Is my these, whole thing. These sweet Jinkos. Sign I, this. Sign this contract. I'm gonna wear. And then the line A, A one A, sort of the first. The preamble is basically about how these jeans never coming off. These jeans are mine, and I need them. 
<laughs> and the sex contract <laughs> is written out on my jeans. It's you the on my jeans. jeans, and I need these for everything. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty great. Um, all of the movie is excellent. It's can I ask you? Can I ask you a question? Anything. Ask me anything. AMA. I'm I watched all of Fifty Shades Great Drug. AMA. Did it. How horny did you get? Yeah. <laughs> did I mention the jeans? No, you did I mention like the jeans, mm -hmm. but, it, you're, but you don't have to be childish about it. It's an adult movie for adults, and obviously, I'm. we're all over 30 now, and so we can talk about stuff like, Just, your, chub, it's like your chubby. We here, Every we here at My Brother, My Brother, and Me, we are sex positive. Mm -hmm. um, we have many listeners who are in, you know, the S M S and M uh, Dom, you know, sub scene. That's totally cool, Justin. So, there, however no, many boners you got, how chubs did, did it there's get? There's no kink shaming. There's gene shaming happening mm -hmm. here. Okay. What I'm saying is, I'm sex positive, and Christian Gray is is nudity guys, negative. Guys, 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 positive, and guys, 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 out. guys, 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 kinko jeans. Okay. All right. Very good. K and KO. You gotta get them. You gotta get them. You can keep a fucking Game Boy Advance SP in there and also six plugs for a butt in there to have fun with. Not your butt, though. <laughs> your jeans staying on. The jeans are staying on. But you can keep a full bag of jerky in those jeans. Justin, were there openings? You said the jeans were ripped. Were there openings in the jeans that allowed him to engage, or was this like, oh, I was going to buy, uh, like a extreme restraints, uh, cage for my penis, but I forgot to order it in time, and it won't be here till Thursday. So I'm going to do the next best thing and put him in a denim prison. No, no, it, he scooches them down below his penis like he's peeing in the trough in a minor league baseball game. <laughs> like, he he just he just scooches them down to do it. To All do right. the thing. To well, do the darn thing. A lot of avoiding um, the subject of the sort of chubby inquisition that J there's Travis... There's no arousal! All it's right. negative. Everyone in the movie is very attractive, right? The genes kill every bit of eroticism, because, yeah. like, all I can feel for Wait. poor Dakota Johnson... Is um uh uh you know the the, the she she has to be with a man in jeans <laughs> always yeah, yeah Justin always. hold on Every, oh Justin now you've made me yes. wonder I assume there's more than one sex scene in Fifty Shades of Grey do the jeans reappear every time is he like wait it's, if we're gonna do no, it I'll be right back. It's, it's not a single scene, Travis. What I'm saying to you is there's a couple scenes in this playroom area where they're like the the uh, supposedly taboo things happen and um it it he's always in the jeans and every every time he's in the jeans uh, Are you, maybe you saw ever... a were you watching this on stars at 7 p.m and maybe these jeans were cgi'd in <laughs> so that like they could they could show it on stars or did he stub his toe and and yell oh he's a lover because maybe that's there's a, pretty good. A, a bit where he comes around a corner weird and he kind of jukes real fast and the jeans take like a half second <laughs> to catch up with his pubis was there much she jeans was... lag on the stars channel you yeah. were watching this they, on they were I not guess. animated cartoon <laughs> jeans um there is a she reveals to him be before he gets into his his dark proclivities. He reveal she reveals to him that she's a virgin, and his reaction to that is to scoop her up. And she says, "What are you doing?" And he says, "I quote, I'm rectifying the situation." Yayo. So when you talk Ooh. about Yayo, when you talk about how many chubbies, that's yeah, why but it's dub negative. A ding dong, shoot, man, fuck, <laughs> it's rough. Also, in pro like she's supposed to be, uh, you know, completely uh, um, uh, ignorant of this world, right? Yeah. He buys her a computer, and she he says, "I hope you use this to do some research." Okay. And she texts him and says, "What should I search?" <laughs> he says, "Try submissive," <laughs> and it's like, what? What? "Okay, I know she's ignorant of S and M, but she ignorant of like." Google? Like, is he gonna give her like a Boolean walkthrough right now of like how to get information Damn. about SM? It seems unlikely. Justin, 
having she been, also wait. I need to finish this. I need to finish this one point before we move on. Uh-huh. Uh, they take her ignorance of the S and M lifestyle to its absolute extreme because when they're going through the sex contract and she's eliminating genital clamps from the contract as something that like is uh, good for her, she asks him. And this is a direct quote: "What's a butt plug?" And I wanted to sit down with her at that point and just walk into the movie Purple Rose of Cairo style <laughs> and be like, "Hey, Dakota." <laughs> Hey Dakota, what do you think a butt plug? <laughs> could also, be? this what is a, what, what 2015. A, you have not yeah, contextually exactly. picked up in the world the concept of but like I I've, don't care. I'm not Travis. You butt can go plug to fucking caveman but, times, and if it's called a butt plug, yeah, it's pr- probably we are going to it's a, f- figure it's a, it out. It's a special type of cup that you use for tea. No, it's a no. silly, it's a silly little guy, and it gets in there and it holds it all up or in or what. I'm not sure what the function is, but I, I bet it feels f- fucking great. Damn, now I'm all rock hard talking about all this <laughs> junk. I'm kind of in disbelief of how long we've been talking about Fifty Shades of Grey in May uh, 14th, 2017 AD, that, the year of our Lord Christ Jesus. I just, I feel bad for, I feel very bad for people who, uh, for whom SM is a fetish for them. Because if this is the world's touchstone for your thing. It's not that's good. Not, it's probably we probably should yeah it is a negative i think in terms of awareness it's probably how i feel every time i go to a superman movie and i'm like yeah no, this time they'll get it right and i always walk out like no i'm not into superman i don't know why i was here i'm embarrassed it, it's as if somebody went and saw space jam and then went to a basketball game and then was disappointed that nobody <laughs> was stretching their arms across half of the court to dunk it uh, while a bunch of big, colorful monsters, uh, you know, hurt hurt um, the Bugs Bunny. Okay, here's a quick, I just, I have not read this, but here's a headline from Cosmopolitan. In case you wanted to know what Christian Grey really calls his sex genes. Well, what's he uh, called? Don't fucking tell me now. Are you guys ready? Yes. Uh, this is from the book. In my closet, I strip off all my clothes. And from a drawer, drawer, pull out my favorite jeans, my DJs, <laughs> Dom jeans. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, everybody! Go out, get to fucking J Crew, get to Express, and go pick up a new pair of Dom jeans. You're gonna love these is, things. Is it so possible? Is it possible? Is it just possible that we're having this conversation and we're gonna get like five thousand yes. emails that are like, "Yeah, Dom jeans, yeah." I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I'll take. I will take that, because you know what? Just because it's part of S M culture, if it is, I can't be. If it is, it the cultures can grow and evolve. By definition, I, I, an outsider, will help you pass this S and M culture. You cannot have dumb jeans. That uh, one. It sounds like mom jeans. It sounds exactly exactly like mom jeans. exactly like mom jeans. Dom jeans. I slip them on and fasten all the buttons <laughs> except the top one. From the same drawer, I retrieve the new riding crop and a gray waffle robe. As I leave, I grab a few condoms and stuff them into my pocket. Here goes. Showtime, Gray. <laughs> Cowboy <laughs> hat? What? Cowboy hat? Yes or no? Can't decide in the Can't end. Decide. decide next time. Is on, it, I, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. Is it possible that he needs the jeans to put condoms in? That's like, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to walk in the room with a handful of condoms, because apparently he needs a few. He needs several, yeah, he's extremely yeah. safe. <laughs> he um, just has it. What's in here? Oh, my condoms. And some Bazooka Joe and some chapstick. And 83 I, cents. Yeah. Um, I'm looking, I am just found the page you were on, Justin, in this uh, book. I got the ebook on my Kindle now, and I'm looking through it, and oh, let me just catch up to... Call my dom jeans. Put condoms in the pockets. Uh, I don't call my dom jeans because I'm uh, a dominant in the uh, the sexual congress. Uh, I actually call them that uh, because I got them from my friend, late great actor and television producer Dom Deluise. That's funny. The Dom that Deluise fun. would get him sex like pants for sex in it. We've now spent a quarter of this episode talking about Fifty Shades of Grey, and if we do any more. Um, I think that, I think I might just, like, call this one, like, episode, like, 152 or something. Drop it in, sort of, in media res. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it'll be, like, more sort of chronologically appropriate. Uh, have you guys seen this dress? Is it blue and black or white and gold? I'm so super confused. Uh, okay, so anyway, we'll do a question now. 
because apparently I'm not allowed to talk about Fifty Shades of Grey anymore. Is there never a moment when he comes out in the jeans? There has to be at least one. He's probably had multiple partners. At least one partner probably to be like, oh yeah, what? Uh, Christian, what's the what's with the jeans? What's the I, deal he with says the, in the jeans? He's he, he what he does is he takes a woman and they sign the contract and then they live in his house, um, in a special room for this. And he she asks him like. How many women have you had like this? And he says 15, which seems high, but maybe they're not getting scared off by like the whips and stuff. Maybe it's just like, uh, I can't with the jeans. I have to go. I is there, to have to is there a line in the contract that says like, I will not ask about the jeans. Promise the not to mention the jeans out it, loud. Wait, I have the fact that it passes without comment, by the way, is the most ludicrous thing in the entire film. She she comments about everything. She doesn't know what butt plugs are. He walks in with jeans, and she's just like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Seems right. Show hey, showtime. Uh, J-Man, one more, one more, one more oh question. Oh, my that I, God. You know, this has always eaten me up, and now Justin could possibly answer this for me. Is the idea of Fifty Shades of Anything referenced in the book? What is the title based on? Travis? At one point, he says, you can't love me. And she says, why? And he says, he stares into a window very dramatically and says, because I'm 50 shades of fucked up. And that is where the title of the book well, comes but, from. But the name of the book is not 50 <laughs> shades of fucked up, which would be a way better title. That would be... Because you could fail when apparently the book is I have not read the book. Apparently the writing uh, leaves something to be desired. But you can feel with your entire being when they have lifted a line directly from the book because it sounds like that. It is written. Like, like the, the the line, the first there the I think it's the masquerade scene when they sort of go away from the party and find a little bedroom and he says, I'm gonna rump me a good one <laughs> and she laughs. Yeah, that's literally that's li that's page one sixty nine, which is the funny, weird, which is also kind of funny. The weirdest part about the movie is it, he only calls it porking. Yeah. So every time it's like, why, why are you so dark and disturbed? Because I like to spank while I pork, and it's like weird that that's a, that's a weird way of putting it. So here's an actual question. I'm sorry about all the Fifty Shades talk, but if you want me to watch Fifty Shades two and talk about it nope. at some point. Just We're gonna have to do some kind of like GoFund me to make that happen. Maybe donate some money to charity in order to make Justin uh, watch Fifty Shades, or maybe to make him not watch Fifty Shades too, so we never have to talk about it again. I thought it was I've... weird how in the movie, every time he uh, achieves climax, he yells "Toasty" like the guy from yeah. Mortal Kombat. There's like a lot of there's like a lot of like it pulls from it's kind of like um, Scott Pilgrim like it just pulls from all these bit. different like there's so many uh, like references to old video games. It was originally Michael Sarah, which is why they wrote the jeans in because that was <laughs> a, a request. Okay, uh, 